Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing on opening day from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Saturday, September the 10th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Race of the Day. Let's take a look at the Race 9 feature uh, this afternoon, folks. 5, 17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Bowling Green Handicap 11 Furlong Route Test on the Interturf Track Grade 2. Three year rolls and up race for $150,000. Contenders number three, Sanagas, number two, Sal the Barber, number seven, Grassy, and number five, Colonialism. Just from my four year information department, the Bowling Green, a turf handicap, is named for an area on the lower tip of Manhattan Island. Here in the 53rd renewal of this graded stakes event, number two, Sanagas, a rare German bred entry racing in North America, is posted a quartet of wins in his last five starts, including a power run win in his last outing in a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 100. And 17. Jockey Rajiv Mara and trainer Graham Mo uh, Mo Motion sent him to the post of the Saturday feature. They fit the board with 56% of their entries saddled as a team to date, producing a positive 65% return on investment in the process. Number two, Sal the Barber. Just wondering if any of you remember Sal the Barber Magley. Comes off four straight power runs in his last four adventures, hitting the board in two of those efforts, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Race 9 summary, number 3, Sanagas, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 2, Sal the Barber, number 7, Grassy, and number 5, Colonialism, 3275 in the ninth from Belmont Park, the $150,000 grade 2 bowling green handicap. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 6, the 9-2 shot, number 5, the Jackal, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by 7 units, the overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of 4, and one half furlongs on the dirt. Canterbury Park, race 5, the 9-2 shot, number 8, Dear Hirsch, the overall speed leader in his main field, racing at or about today's distance of 7 and a half furlongs on the dirt. So from Belmont Park on opening day, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.